Welcome to Be Less Stupid, the show for people interested in knowing how the world really works. It's a show for people who want facts and not opinion, for people who demand unbiased information from a 100% independent source whose world headquarters is also the garage where his kids keep the bikes they don't use. Why facts? Because in their absence, America invades Iraq, hundreds get diarrhea from Chipotle, and countless straight guys masturbate to pictures of Caitlyn Jenner. On this episode, the reason Coke turns clear when you add bleach, why you put your mask on first in the event of cabin depressurization instead of putting it on, say, a helpless baby, or even your precious emotional support therapy pot-bellied pig. That is a real thing. It actually happened. Plus, to celebrate our premiere, you could win 500 bucks for knowing your John Hughes films. We begin with three facts from the big countdown of facts you should know, but probably don't. First, we'll save you time. The second, money. And knowing the third will actually save your life. Coming in at number 100, neither a cold shower or hot coffee will sober you up more quickly when you're drunk. That's because neither speeds your body's metabolism of alcohol. That said, researchers in Denmark have found a 100% effective method to sober up a man in his 50s, a surprise call from his doctor to schedule a prostate exam. Coming in at number 99, that more expensive high octane gas is not a treat for your engine that makes your car run better. Why? Because the engine in your Kia Rio is what automotive professionals refer to as, quote, a huge piece of shit. Yes, that's a technical term. Only expensive high performance engines, like the one in Mercedes' new small penis roid rage face emoji, XLS, have been optimized to reduce the knocking and pinging that occurs when the mixture of fuel and air inside the piston ignites uncontrollably. The point is, your car doesn't run better when you spend 40 cents extra a gallon. I just saved you more than 400 bucks a year. You can email me your thank you notes at info at belessstupid.com. And coming in at number 98, you know when a flight attendant says, in the event of cabin depressurization, you should put your mask on first before helping others? That's because after 20 seconds or so of cabin depressurization and no oxygen, you'll very quickly go from scared shitless to disoriented to passed out. And why doesn't the flight attendant mention that passengers will become as useless as the blankets in an emergency? Because just like warm cookies, they are saving the good stuff just for the folks in first class. Meanwhile, over on Facebook, the FBI's investigation into the San Bernardino killers is trending because the FBI has demanded that Apple create software that will bypass the iPhone's automatic wiping after 10 incorrect password attempts. Second. However, Apple so far has refused. This story that pits Apple's computer programmers versus the FBI is trending because it's the first time in history that nerds have told guys with guns to go fuck themselves. Coming up in this episode, I'll explain what's going on with Coke and Bleach and reveal how you can win 500 bucks for knowing about your favorite John Hughes movies. And why John Hughes movies? Because this is a show for adults, and that's our nostalgia. Here's a preview of future episodes of Be Less Stupid. That's kind of limp. Uh, clearly the gas is out of that uh, soda. Let's try it with, uh, here's a root beer. Este mueble debe fijarse permanentemente a la pared. No se incluyan los dispositivos de fiación dado que los divisieros materiales de pared. Welcome back to Be Less Stupid. 15 million people have seen this video where a guy pours bleach into a glass with Coca-Cola in it. After a few minutes of stirring, ta-da! The liquid goes from caramel to clear. This isn't a magic trick, people. However, if that's what you want, bad, obvious, uninspired magic. Just search Chris Angel on YouTube, because what's going on in the Coke glass with the bleach is actually science. And it's the subject of today's Websplanation. So, 
Here is what's happening. First thing you need to know, the bonds of the molecules that make up the Koch's caramel color are weak. They are weak bonds. Next, the molecules that make up the bleach are very reactive and strong. Here, uh, think of it like these rolls. Think of these rolls as the molecules that make up the caramel color. And my hands are the bleach. See that they come apart very easily. When the bleach molecules bang into the caramel dye molecules, they attach, which then breaks the bonds of the caramel dye color's molecules. These broken molecules can no longer absorb or reflect the light energy that they did previously. Thus, light passes through them, making them clear instead of a caramel color. Incidentally, this drink of Coke and bleach has a name. It's called Sex on a Beach with Bill Cosby. With more, here's the star of Nickelodeon's The Thundermans, Chris Tallman. Chris Tallman here. I've got an important announcement for you about carpet. It's happened to everyone. You invite your boss to dinner to discuss that big promotion, and guess what? <laughs> your pet llamas pick that night to spill red wine all over the carpet. Stains are a fact of life. They happen to everyone. No matter how careful you are, you are going to stain your carpet. You try to keep a neat house. But with the kids, the camel, the llamas, goats, sheep, and the yak you just rescued, your carpets are taking a beating. What can you do? Introducing scissors. Red wine stain? Cut it out. No problem. Kool-Aid, snip, snip, and you're done, done. Coffee, forget about it. Mustard, it's fucking dead to me! Welcome back to Be Less Stupid. Yep, and the lights do change. And now, we turn to today's fact adjacent. This is a fact that doesn't have as its foundation the absolute 100% certainty of scientific truth. But rather, it's something that's, well, almost true. It's a fact adjacent. Anyway, a child who swears, promises, and insists that they will walk the new puppy so that daddy doesn't have to, who bats their eyes and crosses their heart that they will clean up after the new puppy so daddy doesn't have to. Any child, no matter how cute, anywhere on earth, currently living, or who has ever lived, who pinky promises that they will feed the dog so that daddy doesn't have to, that child is a fucking liar. Anyway, if you've got a fact adjacent, Send it to me at factadjacent at belessstupid.com. And if I feature it on the show, I'll send you a coupon to see my three other full-length series free. That's more than 20 hours of original shows that you can't find anywhere else. This versus that, Pizza with Riders and Get Sex Tonight. They're 100% independent, 100% uncensored, and 100% ad-free. We finish our premiere with a chance for you to win 500 bucks. It's a game called Chronological. I'm going to give you a list of John Hughes movie titles, and you'll put them in chronological order, starting with the earliest release. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Sixteen Candles, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and The Breakfast Club. Go to chronological.belessstupid.com to enter. One winner will be chosen from all the correct answers. Remember, follow me or Be Less Stupid on Twitter. You can like our channel on Facebook, which makes it more likely that you'll get new episodes in your timeline when new episodes premiere, which will be about two or three times a week. And if you like the show, please share it with your friends. And for that, I say thank you. I will see you next time on Be Less Stupid.